I'm Heidi Spleet. I'm here with Dr. Elena Lawsona of Brigham and Women's Hospital. And we are talking about uh, factors in lifetime knee osteoarthritis risk. What prompted you to conduct this study? Traditionally viewed as disease of older people, we now see more and more younger people in their 50s and even 40s being diagnosed with symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. And we do know that when we offer generalized prevention message or public health message, it's not necessarily perceived as relevant to specific population groups. That's why what we decided to do is try to create personalized risk assessment for different population groups to help to deliver the message and awareness in a little bit more personalized fashion, more relevant for specific person. What did you find were some of the factors contributing to knee osteoarthritis in certain demographics? Uh, obesity has been shown in multiple studies to be a very, very important risk factor for development of symptomatic knee osteoarthritis. And we do know from multiple data that obesity is more prevalent among racial and ethnic minorities. And we also know that women are also more likely to be obese. Therefore, we looked at obesity as a key driver of symptomatic knee osteoarthritis in these populations. Over the last 10 years, we are working a lot trying to deliver the public health message about weight control and management of obesity epidemic. And what we're seeing right now, that obesity epidemic had been tempering in Caucasian populations, but unfortunately, it's still on the rise among racial and ethnic minorities. That's why it's really important to understand what's the implications. And we're trying to deliver this public health message to specific groups um, and to make them to be more aware of the risks and benefits to reduce their weight. And what's the take-home message that uh, clinicians can use from your study to help their patients? We believe that the more personalized message physicians deliver to patients, the more patients will perceive it as relevant and important and critical uh, changing behavior um, message to deal with and that's why we decided to develop risk estimates not only by age which also important what's your risk of development of symptomatic knee osteoarthritis by age 50 by age 60 70 and so forth but also stratified by women by sex women and men separately and also stratified by race and ethnicity because we believe that more, the more personalized the message is the closer patients will take it to the heart and uh, hopefully will try to to deal with this and try to think about some behavioral changes that would help them to reduce the risk of symptomatic risk uh, knee osteoarthritis in a near future and the far future. There is no cu currently cure for symptomatic knee osteoarthritis and it's a progressive disease so it ultimately will lead to the need for total knee replacement which is growing uh, very dramatically over the last 10 years. And so if we're trying to control the growth of surgeries, I think, you know, controlling the incidence of knee osteoarthritis may be a first step to do so. Thank you so much for your time.